Are you looking to build your own app but you have no idea about coding? Obviously you can hire a app developer but that is going to cost you a lot and that is also going to take a lot of time. If you want to avoid all the hassles related to app development and make your own app without any coding skills at a very affordable price, I have just the right product for you today. So hello guys, welcome back to SES LTD Deals. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit that bell icon so that you never miss any of our uploads. I am back with another review and today I am going to review Noah. So Noah is a tool that lets you create stunning high functioning app and you can create these apps in just a few minutes. And the best part is you do not have to have any depths of coding skills. It is a fully no code platform as you can see. And the great news is Noah is currently available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. So at only $39, you can get lifetime access to Noah, and this is a one-time single payment. Keep in mind the regular pricing is $485. So at AppSumo, you are getting this tool at 92% off. Noah is an alternative to Webflow and Wix. Now let's have a look at all the features that you are going to get with this tool. So as you can see, you will get access to the entire NOAA platform tools, which means all of the components, the widgets, all of them are going to be available with this deal. There is the unlimited source code download. You can create unlimited projects. You can export as native apps. It is Flutter based. You can create unlimited requests. You can create unlimited API endpoints and there are some other features. And these are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. So the tier one costs $39 and you can deploy five apps to web, Android or iOS per week on this tier. And you will have access to 10 premium templates. And here's the storage. You can also use it on web. The tier two costs $99 with 10 app deployment. And the last year is tier 3 with a cost of $199. Here all the limits, almost all of them are unlimited. And there is an additional feature on this tier which is you can even share this project with 4 users. So if you want to buy any of these tiers of Noah as a lifetime deal, make sure you check the link in the description below of this video. And if I go to the Noah website, here are some of the features. At a glance, you can design stunning UI, exactly how you imagine it. Your app is going to be very responsible because you can add various variables to it. You can also customize your app with your own logic or even code if you want. And the best part is you can export your app to any platform with a single click. If you're interested, you can also buy Noah on subscription plans. As you can see, currently there are pro plans, premium plans and also team plans. So after you log in to Noah, you will get this dashboard and on here you have to create your project by clicking on this create plus button. Then you can start building your own app. As you can see, I currently have already one project and you can also create workspace here by clicking on this. And then there are some resources such as you can learn, you can access the docs and also the community to know more about Noah. And there is another upcoming feature which is the marketplace. On this marketplace you are going to get advanced designs and logic very soon. So let's go back to project and let's start building our own app. For that you have to click on this create plus button. Now let's give it a name. So after choosing the name you can also select where you want to host your app on cloud or on local. Keep in mind if you want to choose local you have to come up with the desktop version of Noah. So I'm going to select cloud and then click on create. So here is the app editor or the board as Noah says. So you can also click on the show grid to make sure you see the grids as you can see on the background. And you can also change the board color if you want. So let's make it. I think this color looks pretty good. Now to start building your app. The first thing you want to do is select the screen size or the screen. For that you have to click on the screen. Now you can choose this empty box if you want a blank screen. You can also choose some templates such as basic cards, article template, dashboard template. So there are various templates. I'm going to choose this empty template and then click on create. So as you can see this is my screen. You can also change various aspects of this screen such as the layout, the group, the alignment, feet, the children, the scaffold. And on the scaffold you can select the size according to the phone model such as Pixel 3a, iPhone 11 Pro. So let's select this iPhone 12. So this is the iPhone 12 screen size. And you can obviously add variables to it. First you have to provide the name. Then you have to select the type. So here are the types you can choose. And then you have to choose default value and some other options. Then you have to add variable. 
you can also add wrapper if you want so after adding the screen now you can add different types of widgets or other components for example you can add this shape so let's create a shape so this is going to be our shape then you can also add a text if you want so let's add a text on this shape now let's write something so this is going to be the text you can also customize this text if you want as you can see on the right side you can change what you want to write on this text you can change the alignment the style such as font and other stuff so let's increase the size to 20 so this way you can customize the text you can also change the layout if you want so after adding this text we can also access the widget section let's click on this now as you can see there are a lot of widgets and if you want to find a specific widget you can also search for that so let's search for a icon widget so here is what we were looking for let's click on this as you can see this icon is now appearing on this screen now i can drag and drop this icon so let's keep it here you can also customize this icon further you have to first select this then you can change the layout the icon the size the field weight weight and so many other options and on an app there could be multiple pages or multiple screens so if you want to create another screen you can simply create a new board click on this plus icon and the new board so here is our new board now once again let's click on this screen and create an empty screen click on create now you can also select the size so i'm once again going to select iphone 12 so here is our screen and on this screen once again i can add various components such as i can add shape or text or widgets there are various widgets so let's add an image so here is an image and you can change this image as you can see you can change this image by url or you can also select this asset which means you can upload your image from computer for some reason this asset section or the upper section is not working perfectly so i'm back to this network section where you have to paste an url to upload an image so i have uploaded an image as you can see now i can also position this image as i like i can also expand this if i want now what if i want to connect this screen or this page with the previous page or the screen so this is my previous screen the first page that i created now to connect this page with this one i have to go to this widget and then look for a widget that is called button now let's position our button properly and then go to the right side and scroll down and you will get this edit option so click on this so as you can see one tab has opened so once this tab opens you can also see this tab on full view for that you have to click on this open in new tab so as you can see you have got the full view now to connect the first screen with the second one i have to click on this plus button and then on the search option i have to search for a logic called navigate so as you can see here it is let's click on this now the context is empty which means empty was the first screen that we created and builder is the second one which means after clicking on button where we should hit and that is going to be the empty one which means our second screen now let's click on play so this play is a preview of your app and as you can see this is the button so let's click on this button and as you can see now we are in the second screen so the button widget is working perfectly you can also see it on full screen you can also change the screen size if you want you can also zoom in or zoom out and on the left bottom you will get some options such as you can connect data sources you can see the app settings so here are the app settings you can also see all of the files so as you can see these are the files that i have used and these are the assets so once you create your app you can also download the code or you can save this project for your app so overall i think noah is an excellent tool that lets you create your own app and there is absolutely no coding skills involved as you could see from my tutorial and it is also pretty easy there are all the useful components screen sizes and also widgets creating an app will be a breeze with this tool so if you want to buy noah on a lifetime deal make sure you check the link in the description below of this video these are the features that you are going to get with this tool and these are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. So that's it for our today's video. I hope you have found the video to be helpful. If you do, make sure to subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next one. Till then, goodbye.